in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Epson EcoTank ET2820 printer with the Android phone. Now the first thing we will add this printer in the Wi-Fi network and then we will add in our Android phone. Now go to printer screen. On the main screen you have to scroll ahead and look for the settings. Click OK. Scroll ahead and look for the network settings. Wi-Fi setup. Wi-Fi recommended. Click OK to proceed. Wi-Fi setup wizard. It will give a list of the Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network and click OK. Enter the password and click OK again. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Next thing is to add in our Android phone. Now in your Android phone, open the Epson iPrint app. Once you open the app, you will see this screen. On the top of the screen, you will see the printer name. Or if it's in first, if you are using it for first time, it will directly ask you to add the printer. Now select this printer button. On the next screen, click on the printer button and it will start looking for your printer and on the next screen you will see ET2800 series select it you get option to use Epson smart panel app if you don't want to use that simply keep using this Epson iPrint app instantly printer will be connected and here we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning so if you go back you will see it has option to print scan for example to do a scan click on the scan button place a page in the top scanner facing downwards on the right hand side and then click on the scan icon the scan has arrived you can click on the save button on the next page select a location you want to save it you can change the name of the file and you can also change the format to PDF or JPEG and then click and here you can select again the location you want for example copy to internal storage or anywhere I want to do that for example I'm going to do it for documents and click on the paste button now it is saved here as you can see now go back if you want you can add more pages and you can do more scanning so this way we can do the setup of the printer and then we can add in an android phone thanks for watching